a cage. So after a lot more arguing with the council and then doing stupid things and coming up with silly excuses to how to deal with being subjected to complete maladministration rather than putting anything right. Yeah, finally, they're sort of maybe, possibly, doing something. I don't know. Kind of, yeah, because, right, you know how they won't cover public rent. I don't know if they're going to cover council rent fully, but it's, what, £25 a week above the LHA rate, so hopefully they'll actually cover that. If not, then they need to find me somewhere, because my old flat was fully covered by housing benefits. That is fully covered by housing benefits. So yeah, going on Friday to actually look at something and hopefully it turns out right. Hopefully I'm not on some stupid list because <laughs> with the stupid point score they gave me, it was like, no, you're still not getting in there and now it's suspending me from bidding for no reason whatsoever. And then I got this, so maybe that's why, you know, because I have to look at this property. Who knows? But hopefully it'll be alright and hopefully nothing will happen. Hopefully it'll be double glazed because my old place was double glazed. And if it's not, then, you know, that's something I'll have to have a go at them about. And even more bullshit to deal with and still the argument with the compensation all that. And yeah, so I just put on to this bit as well. Because of the mail, it was solitaire shut like someone had been tampering with it. It's a subject access request because... Yeah, again, all the proof of everything that they've communicated to show just quite exactly how they're screwing up and avoiding dealing with their maladministration over the years because, yeah, they're clearly not doing anything about it and the LGO is just, uh, oh yeah, let's sweep it under the rug and cover it up and ignore half of that maladministration. So happen to gather it all together and the fact that they've clearly looked in the post or something and then sellotaped it back up, it's... Kind of really dodgy. It's like, well, what do we, what do we send to them? Is it something incriminating? You know, it's, it's kind of a bit dodgy. And yeah, so hopefully going on Friday will not be dodgy because I've been involved in Europe and other things because, you know, they're trying to cover up all this maladministration and maybe I'm becoming too much of a headache for the government. <laughs> yeah. So I'll have an update on Saturday with how that goes, but in the meantime, there may be a temporary hiatus after that, depending on how swiftly they do things. Apparently it's still under renovation. You know, but that could be an issue. So the house collapsed on him. Oh, what a pity. <laughs> I doubt they'd be that dumb and pathetic to do that. But, you know, you've just got to point out the hilarity of the possibility of stupidness going on. But, yeah, my God, how they've just avoided doing everything in every way possible when they could have just simply done the right thing years and years ago and in the first place just paid the due benefits and even when they've admitted, oh, yeah, we should have paid them, well, what have you bloody done to do about things right since then? Absolutely nothing. Instead, you've subjected me to even more maladministration. So, you know, it's just utterly pathetic with the way the council and the government have dealt with things. So, yeah. Not a lot of fun, but hopefully things will start to actually get put right now, but seems like I've got a bigger battle again, even after necessarily being rehomed, and yeah, they still haven't even provided compensation to be able to repurchase the essentials like a cooker and my washer-dryer and things I would need. So yes, this is going to be very, very, very painful and awkward, unless they do the fucking right thing right now, which they don't seem to be wanting to do. You know, it's like, oh, well, what can we come up with an excuse to get out of doing it? It's like, no, you've got no loopholes, you've got no excuses. I mean, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, so hopefully things will go right, and hopefully Friday will go well. We'll soon see whether <laughs> it's just more fuckery or not. Thanks for watching. Good.